The pectoral girdle is considered part of the appendicular skeleton because even though it's found kind of medial, it actually is where the limbs attach, where the upper limbs attach to the body. So it is considered part of your axial, I mean your appendicular skeleton. Two bones that we have to know as part of our pectoral girdle. First is the clavicle. That's this guy. The clavicle is your collarbone. It has a sternal end, which articulates with the sternum, and it has an acromial end that actually articulates with the scapula. I think of the scapula. Look at my skeleton right here. You can barely even see the scapula on my skeleton. I think of the scapula as a posterior bone, and it is but it has pieces that actually come up and around to the anterior aspect of your body. And so the scapula can actually, from the posterior side, can actually attach to the stern or to the clavicle, which is definitely on the anterior surface. You can see how they attach to each other here, but let's take a closer look at the scapula itself and maybe label some parts on this guy. You can see the little purple scapula. Definitely a posterior bone. It's on the outside. It's, it's posterior to the rib cage on the back of the body. But, um, yeah, it, it's an arm bone and comes around to the front. All right, ready? Let's name some parts. The part, let's name the acromion. Ready? If you look at the posterior, this is the posterior view. This is the anterior view. This is a lateral view. Does that work for you? Let's name this part first. This is the glenoid fossa. The glenoid fossa is the fossa, 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 which is a smooth articulation where the humerus attaches. The humerus is your upper arm bone. So the humerus actually sticks into the glenoid fossa and forms a joint, your shoulder joint. Now, if the glenoid fossa is on your scapula, is it medial or lateral if it's attaching to the humerus? It's lateral. Do you agree with that? Because if it was medial, your arm would be coming out of the middle of your back. Mine isn't. I don't know about yours, but mine definitely isn't. So this is lateral. This is medial. If you look at the posterior aspect heading lateral, because here's glenoid fossa, you'll see a spine. You can feel your spine. Go ahead and palpate your scapula. You can feel the spine of your scapula. The spine of the scapula terminates in a giant bump called the acromion. Acromion. The acromion is where the clavicle articulates with the scapula. So clavicle is going to attach to the acromion. You also have, if you look, okay, so here's acromion. I'm just going to make a note. A. Guess who that guy is? That's a different one. That's a little coracoid process. The cor coracoid, the word coracoid means like crow's beak. Kind of looks like a little crow's beak right there. Acromion is big. And acromion is the termination of the spine. So if you get confused, which one's acromion, which one's um, uh, coracoid, then take a look at which one is attached to the spine. The coracoid process actually comes out anterior, anterior, posterior, although you can palpate your acromion. You can actually feel that puppy. All right. Um, we have some flat spaces on our scapula. Here's my spine, my infraspinous process right, is infra below the spine. 
So who's this? That's my supraspinous process. It's above the spine. Now, that was the posterior view, above and below the spine. Take a look at the anterior view. I can't touch the anterior aspect of my core, of my scapula unless, I mean, there's ways you can move your shoulder to, like, have you ever had a massage person, like, reach up underneath your scapula and it feels kind of wonky, but, you know, they get in there and they actually massage your subscapularis because it is attached to your sub scapular fossa. And it's smooth. The subscapular fossa is there's no spine separating superior and inferior. And it's on the anterior surface. You can see it through the ribs if you take a look. I think that's everybody that we had to do for the pectoral girdle. Next up is the superior limb, and there's lots of people there.